Hi, I'm Mark Renner from Brookshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. And I'm going to talk to you about the real estate market in Omaha, Nebraska. But if you listen to the national news, you get a lot of conflicting reports. As I told us in, as I told you in one of my earlier videos last October, Forbes magazine ran an article saying that Omaha was going to be one of the three hottest real estate markets in the year 2023. Compared to the rest of the nation, I think we're doing just great. But the national news gets it wrong. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Has it slowed down? Yes, to be expected uh, based upon the rise in the interest rates. But let's talk today about deciphering the misunderstood housing market. The information I'm quoting today comes from Lisa Sturdivant, a PhD economist for the National Association of Realtors. Yes, supply is constrained. We don't have as much inventory for sale as we would like to have. Inventory has increased from the end of last year, but the number of available listings is still less, less than half, this is nationally, half the level of 2019. Uh, new listing activities had a as at an all-time low, but in Omaha, it's not. Uh, we're down about six, eight percent from the beginning of the year in available inventory. Demand is still very strong. Homes are selling for over a hundred percent of listing price, and they're selling in 13 days. So it's not a supply being constrained. It is a strong demand for buyers in the marketplace, and that's what's keeping the inventory low. It's still a seller's market. Sellers are still in control with multiple offers and offers over list price still common. A recent survey of MLS subscribers found that sellers in the mid-Atlantic region received an average of 3.4 offers on homes sold in March of 2023. So in other parts of the country, it's also very good. Quick transactions. While the level of urgency has lessened, buyers still need to be prepared to make an offer quickly when they find a home they love. The median days on the market has dropped since the beginning of the year. In Omaha, it's still uh, 13 days average on the market for homes that are sold. Um, it, it is taking only slightly longer for the typical home to sell than it did during the frenzied, frenzied pandemic market. That's true. During that frenzied pandemic market, homes in Omaha sold in six or seven days. Now they're sell, selling in 13 days. But years ago, the average time on the market was 65 days. So this is, again, a reflection of the strong demand. The buyers are getting a different, inaccurate message. In psychology, cognitive dissonance refers to the mental toll associated with receiving contradictory information. So prospective buyers read the headlines about the housing market and get one message, but are finding a very different situation when they are out shopping for a home. So I'm Mark Renner, Berkshire Hathaway. Love to talk to you about any real estate questions, wants, needs that you have. You can reach me on my cell phone, 402-690-1687. And you can email me at mark at markrenner.com or just go to my website at markrenner.com and browse. There's a lot of good information there. Well, I appreciate you watching the video today. Have a good day and be safe.